you watch your favorite YouTuber absolutely crush Rust on Hype Observer, making it look easy. And suddenly you think, hey, I could do that, but is it really as easy as it looks? Well, let me show you. It is for Swipe. Everyone starts with nothing but a rock, a dream, and the existential dread of knowing you're one of 800 players all trying to claim their little patch of land. Day one is a bloodbath where we're all equal. Equally screwed, that is. As if playing solo on a hype observer isn't already punishing enough, I decided to crank it up a notch and see how far I could get without using a recycler. With the recycler of limits, I had to come up with the best way to farm scrap. Maybe set up a cloth farm? That would be nice if I actually had the blueprints. The next best option, which does not require any blueprints, is the new meta, fish traps. I have never done this before, but like most of you, I've seen videos, and it does seem like a legitimate way to get scrap quickly. Since I'm not using recyclers to swipe, I can build in the absolute middle of nowhere, far from the sweaty monument grinders. All I need is water, a fishing village nearby, and maybe a little luck. To start my scrap farm, I needed two essentials, bait and fish traps. Bait wasn't a problem in this area. Plus, with all the animal fat I collected, I had furnaces up and running in no time. Fish traps, on the other hand, turned out to be more problematic than I'd anticipated. This is not going to work, is it? I should have checked the height of foundations for the fish traps before I built the base. In other words, what I'm trying to say is... I messed it up. I realized I'd need to build my fish farm as a separate base, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. It can come in handy as a flying base. The downside is, I'd need much more stone. I should probably go and try get some scrap for tier 1, because... That 23 scrap in my DC looks a little bit pathetic. What have you got for me, boy? Well, here's my tier one. <laughs> no, I'm not stupid. You're stupid. <laughs> what is going on here? Sorry, dude. No mercy on a wipe day. Who? I'll leave him to the wolves. It is still very quiet in this area. I need to take advantage of it because uh, even though it's remote, I don't think it will stay like this for long. I am not making the same mistake again. Nice. metal sheet door to TC and this would be our entrance to the farm. I'm supposed to fit eight of them in here, but I have no idea how. Apologies in advance, this is not gonna be pretty. This is not a tutorial guys, 
please do not follow this because I have no clue what I'm doing. Four, five, six, seven. I put a piece of bear meat in each of the seven traps to see how many would actually catch me a fish. While the traps did their thing, I kept busy farming notes, taking advantage of the fact that the area was still relatively deserted. Of course, someone's already doing the escalator. Two hours into wipe. Oh, can't wait to check out those traps. Oh, I can hear it. Okay. Okay. Uh. Oh. Three out of seven caught a fish. That's cool. Okay, let's try again. Oh. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I love it. The sound of a flying wallpaper is so satisfying. The next round of bear meat bait got me three salmons. I'm now fully convinced that this is the easiest way to get scrap without ever touching a recycler. All that's left is figuring out how to safely transport my fish to the fishing village and then bring the scrap home. I spent the night fishing and when the morning came I added honeycomb to my base. Since this wipe is all about scrap grind, I decided to focus solely on that. The security of the base is not as important. Who's gonna raid a humble fish farmer anyway, right? Looks like we're out of stone. I'm going for it. How am I alive? They're back already! No! That did not feel good, but it wasn't all bad. Rust gods are showing me mercy. Someone left a boat outside my base, and this was my chance to get to the fishing village. Uh, 
Oh, <laughs> it has low grade. Someone abandoned this in a hurry. Damn, look at all those paces. I bet they're all fish farmers. Hey, no, no, no. This is mine. Cheeky. He's still here. I just want to sell my fish. Oh, here he goes. Three hundred forty scrap. That's not bad at all. Wait, did someone just shoot at me? Where are they? Someone built on the river while I was at fishing village. Bet it's the guys from the legacy shelter. Oh, here he is. Oh no. God damn it. Yep, same guys. Well, there goes my horse. Oh no. There goes my boat. First they stripped me of my crossbow and nail gun. Then they stole my horse and my boat. At that point, it was time to take a break before I lost what little sanity I had left. I cleared out my fish traps, slapped on a few more doors, and locked off. Tomorrow, it's back to the grind. Time to focus on catching that sweet, sweet salmon. <laughs> what the hell is that? Is that their fish farm? I'll take this. It is the fish tax everyone living here must pay. Because I built here first. Nothing out of the ordinary, just collecting what's mine. Despite my new neighbors expanding overnight, I felt optimistic about today and started the day by restocking the fish bait. I used both my new neighbors left behind to go diving. One of the downsides of not being able to recycle is the constant shortage of high quality metal. Recycling is the main source of HQM, but luckily it also spawns in military and in underwater crates. Diving is so good and relatively safe. 30 sewing kits? Time to pay your taxes! Oh, is that the neighbor? I wonder if we could have an alliance. Uh, no. He started it. Dude, why? We could be friends. Hey, hello? Hi. Uh, do you want to be friendly? Look, we're neighbors and uh, I'm just a poor solo farmer, so I don't want to fight. Okay, okay. I, I, have, uh, I live in that, uh, that house. In that big one, no, yeah? No, no. Let, let's not fight, okay? <laughs> okay. Uh, I'll take that as a yes. There's 
there's three of them. <laughs> I just stole their fish a minute ago. Oh, sorry, collected taxes. <laughs> they have no idea. I found a boat at a nearby base and used this opportunity to trade in my fish. Grabbed a diving set just in case things went south. There's always the risk of someone stealing my boat or me getting shot at while heading to or from the fishing village. Okay, we go in, we get the scrap, and we go out. No funny business. Oh my god, 900 scrap! <laughs> the stress! Please don't die, please don't die. <gasps> oh god. Nothing happened, we're good. Go, go, go! Yes, we made it. With all that scrap I managed to get without a recycler, I crafted a tier 2 workbench and researched many important blueprints. Honestly, I was surprised how easy getting scrap actually was. It just proves that even on a hype observer as a solo player, you can still make progress. You don't need to take on groups to get scrap. I did some upgrades to my base and was hyped for what tomorrow would bring. Oh, classic. Apparently, humble farmers do get raided. And they get raided on the second day of Force Wipe. But I wasn't ready to give up just yet. With a lot of blueprints already researched, I figured getting a tier 2 using fishing traps shouldn't take long. So I relocated to the other side of fishing village, wedging my new base between two other farmers. This area was a bit cramped and much more active. But it was walking distance to the fishing village. I left the meadow or smelting and went out to meet my neighbors. Is that a car? And now I run. Ooh, a piggy. I need it. Ow. Nobody kills my friend, Porky. <laughs> I didn't know he was your friend. Not long after, I had enough frags for a metal sheet door. Now that I was safe from an easy molly raid, I could focus on the fish farm. Okay, so this is the farm, this is the roof axis, this is where TC is, and my uh, very humble loot. We're gonna eventually move furnaces to this space here, and this is uh, our main entrance. My base is actually uh, matching the vibe of the neighborhood. Did I just hear someone? Ah. <sighs> hey, I'm up. Ah, he took only the wolf headdress. This raid is right here. What are they raiding?
Ooh. <laughs> Come on. There has to be a gun somewhere. So many dead bodies. There's another one there. <gasps> I knew it. I knew it. Yes. Go, 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 go. Ah, yes. And just like that, I was back in action. Not long after setting up the traps, I was already reeling in my first rewards. With a fishing village practically next door, selling fish and collecting scrap became way faster and with way less risk. I did the underwater bounty quest to get a pump shotgun and also got a jackhammer from one of the crates. I think the group in that big base are the ones raiding all these poor farmers. I see someone. Where are you? Oh. Ooh, a juiced little fella. We have enough scrap for tier two, but unfortunately no high qual. Not gonna lie, I'm a little bit nervous to take the jackhammer out. There's just so many nodes on the hill nearby. Wait. Okay. <laughs> what the hell? That was a quick farm run. I feel like I'm finding loaded backpacks every wipe now. <laughs> Does this happen to anyone else? Is that a military crate on that zipline? Custom! <laughs> There's a guy below me. Oh, he's from this big group. I guess I'll use this. That zipline can potentially be my source of HQM. I just need to keep an eye on it for milk crates. It's crazy how quickly crates are respawning when there's a lot of people on. Oh yes, high qual. That's what I needed. This is so easy. It is so easy that it actually feels wrong. <gasps> oh my god, this is too high. <laughs> I need to remember to fix this. It's a safety hazard. I spent a bit more time giving my base a cozy makeover and setting up electric furnace. I used all the scrap to research all the good stuff. Now that I had tier 2, again, I didn't want to get offline raided, again. So I upgraded the core and added the garage doors before logging off. To my surprise, I didn't get raided. Honestly, that alone felt like a win. I was hoping for another productive day of farming scrap and learning blueprints in peace. But I couldn't have been more wrong. As most of you know in Rust, your wife can go south real fast if you kill the wrong person. I'm gonna grab those barrels real quick, save me some wood. Horsey for me. Hello there. Mm. 
Now, I had to pause here, because this particular moment marked the beginning of the end. Ooh, Ben is full of stone. I'll have to come back. Where's his body? Oh, here he is. Someone's outside my base. Not friendly, huh? Oh my god, how many is there? The other one's running away. Is there more? Rob, are these the guys from that big group? Wait, they stole my bait. <laughs> no, they taxed me. I wanted to make the entrance from the water side more secure, or even safer trips to the fishing village and back. But I ran out of wood. This is not good. Oh no. What do I do? I have nothing to fight them with. Uh oh. Oh my god. This is so bad. I don't know what to do. Oh my god, where are they blowing? I have no wood and no high wall. I think they're blowing the roof door. Probably. Yeah, that must be it. Oh, I have a pump. gonna lie. Uh, this is not looking good. so far. They're from that big base. I don't think I stand a chance here. Wait, so they blew the roof door and now they're blowing this? Oh no. <gasps> yes! They're getting countered. Oh no, I'm on timers. Ah! Why can't I make this jump? 
Alter. Oh. <laughs> I'll put a bag here just in case. open. He wants me to open the door. I'll open the door. Take <laughs> that. Anyone else? <laughs> what is this raid? Oh my god. <laughs> I saw the satchels and I panicked. I thought there's one more door. No, no, no. You have to blow the door. But uh, it's, uh, it's definitely worth it, guys. There's uh, there's loads of gunpowder in there. Okay, listen, listen. Yeah. You can open the door because take the loot, you can get the base. Ah, no, guys, it's okay. Keep blowing. Hi. Hello. Guys, don't go in here. Don't go in here. I want to do some stuff here, okay? Just got, oh, don't go in here. I want to do some stuff. What the? F Sorry, <laughs> Miss Slick. Yeah, Miss Slick. You want to watch the Miss Slick? This is a Miss. Oh, okay. That's a Miss. How come my sleeping bag in the core is missing? Hi! Hello! Open the doors, please! And you will get the base. Oh, I wonder if Put the satch was destroyed. It. Oh, we will just fucking raid it. Wait, wait, wait! Okay, if you not open the door, I'm just gonna fuck it. Why do they think I might open the and door? And you will not for get them. the base back. I will yeah. give you the base back. Promise. Just open the door. Wait, you you want this TV or you want it? You want it? <laughs> I'm running out of options here, guys. Hey. <laughs> okay, you want some stone? I will give you. Just open the door. But actually, what the fuck is this base? So many boom, bro. What the fuck is this base?
It's one HP. <laughs> okay, I'm giving up. This base was one metal sheet wall to DC, but for some unknown reason, <laughs> this was the longest raid ever. And I think my TC was never locked, so there's that. Was it worth it? <laughs> yeah, uh, I don't think so. Yeah, kinda. Well, GG's. Bye. Yeah.